Hi everyone, I'm here with Angelo Flaccavento. He's one of Italy's most uh, influential young journalists. Angelo, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good. Um, can you tell my readers exactly who you work with? Yes, I am the fashion critic at large of uh, daily newspaper Il Sole 24 Ore and I write for the style pages on the weekly Moda 24. And then I'm also a contributor to GQ and GQ Style in Italy and Womo Vogue. And I just curated the Vestirsi da Uomo Dressing Like a Man exhibition in Pitti Uomo to in, together with the Pitti Imagine and the Corner.com. It is a really lovely um, exhibition slash curation slash um, yeah, <laughs> everything. It, it, <laughs> the aim was both to represent each brand at its best and to choose pieces that would create an ideal wardrobe for men. But I am a, a relativist, so I think that my idea of the ideal wardrobe is mine. It's not, <laughs> it's not better than anybody else, it's just my vision of it. And also I think that a wardrobe, for, and especially for a man, is a work in progress. You, mean, you live with something for a very long time and then you add pieces. So the idea was that even the installation, which was like a, a deconstructed dressing room, I wanted to convey this kind of idea that you had, you had pieces, it's, it, nothing is definitive. Okay. I don't think there is nothing really definitive and this is also why I love fashion. It keeps you moving forward. I totally agree with that. It's, a, it's an evolution of style. Yes, and definitely. And personal style. Definitely. And so, and to go with the exhibition, I also created a little booklet, which is not exactly a manual but just a um, collection of visual and verbal suggestions that I I hope everybody who buy because all the items on show will be on sale on the corner.com which is great for me because in a way I'm interacting in a different way with my audience selecting pieces and letting people buy what I selected for them and then there is this little manual which is a little bit poetically punk in spirit so Do you want to talk about politi uh, poetically punk um, because maybe they don't know Yes uh. poetically punk is also my Tumblr which is a, it's, it's a Tumblr page that I don't work on that very often but it's just a collection of, of images that I really like and I t try to create like short circuits between words and images. It's He's a also a really great illustrator. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So now that you, um, you've you spent uh, a week at Pitti and you've, st uh, you've seen the shows um, here in Milan this morning, have you seen any of the pieces that you have selected, any of the categories um, that yes. you've you've selected for the show? Yes, like I have to say that the first piece that I selected was a coat mm -hmm. from Lardini because it's a very good sartorial brand and I think they, they do the best coat because they are unlined with unstructured shoulder but they give you a certain presence and I'm seeing this season that the coat will be the item for men and okay. that like we've seen a few sh just a few shows but I'm seeing that volume and coats are like one of the things. Very cool. Anything else? And also, sh white, the white shirt is omnipresent. I mean, the, the, uh, men's collections are always interesting because what you can do is always tweaking a little mm -hmm. bit some essential items. But what I'm seeing it, it is, it was also what I was trying to su suggest with the um, exhibition is that there is a slight uh, tinge of subversion going on. Okay. I think this this season is, is starting to look very interesting. I'm seeing, you know, they were angry young men at costume. Yeah. <laughs> here, altar boys, but they were not super proper here at Dolce, here Gabbana, at Dolce, Gabbana, at Dolce yeah. Gabbana. So it's like, uh, it's like everything looks proper on the outside, but there is something improper going on underneath, which is also what I tried to suggest with the booklet, because if you read it, there is something very Where improper. Where can we get the booklet? Because I don't have one. Oh, I the, the brief was to give to everybody there. I will send you one. Please, please. I would love that. I would love that. And then my, I wanted to ask you, what did you think of Jill Sander this morning? I liked the show. I think it was a progression from mm -hmm. last season. Still, there, it's always a little bit cold. Okay. It's very Teutonic for me. It's very, you know, automata marching on the runaway. But there was something that was suggesting a little bit of that. It was breaking up that very cold surface, like the bear. Yes. 
arms. But I, love, I mean, the coats look for me were looking great. Yeah, they were. Did you like that oversized collar? Yes, and also because they had kind of a Napoleonic um, okay. solemnity to them. Okay. But it was done in a very Jill way, which was super streamlined. They were like distilled to the purest essence. Okay. Well, thank you very Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you soon.